Alrighty, traders, George here. Time for a look at the week ahead. Here's what's on my radar. We'll start out with the euro. The euro's had a pretty good rally up, breaking this downtrend, and it's moved up to the most dominant traded zone here over the last 100 plus days here, um, and that's essentially where it is right now. Taking out the swing low that it made uh, just recently here will be a trigger to be short and look for it to fill down to these levels here initially. And if it gets below this level, there's a huge air pocket below that. I could see us moving down um, pretty well. I've got the, the round number here uh, for this third target, but um, that's the trade setup to the downside. And to the upside, it doesn't need to go up too much more from where we are to take over the top line here and then look to scalp up to the top. And then the same deal north of where we are. There's an air pocket, not as much trading up to this zone here. And then the next stage up to this level here. So it's literally stuck at the most dominant traded area and breaks above or below will set up the next move. Those are the key price points to watch, whether it does it with a clean jerk and moves out of here or uh, does it with some uh, chop and maybe a head fake or two. We'll have to see what happens there. But that's what I'm looking for for the euro is a resolution to price sitting at this level here. If we break down initially, watch to get through that area and then below. The U.S. dollar index is below its most dominant traded zone here. It triggered the short entry that I had, hit the scalp at the floor, and then breaking down, hit the second target zone, and it really bounced off of that level pretty well. And this is actually a pretty dangerous spot to be short the U.S. dollar index because it is coming back after breaking down from this area. Being the most dominant traded zone, what tends to happen is if breakouts can't hold, they typically fill to the other side if they're recovered. So, for example, here's a break out to the north and it wasn't able to hold and as it broke down it filled to the other side and you can see price went basically straight there, stopped on a dime and then rallied all the way back up again. Here's a break below that went a bit in favor taking effect of this air pocket here, not as much trading and now as it comes back and takes over the floor here or attempting to at this key round number, um, we could see price popping up pretty well bigger picture where we are now is if you're short this is a dangerous spot to hold short because if you got in in this area here you've already booked some gain hopefully at these targets here um, but you could be holding underwater pretty quickly to the long side this is also an aggressive spot to be going long because it's underneath the most dominant spike here but as this downtrend gets broken with bullish energy to the upside assuming we see that over this level here puts us above all the trading commitment and then opens up these targets here. So that's what I'm looking for in the euro and the US dollar uh, index there. Let's take a look at gold. Here's the deal for gold. Gold having a real choppy go here around the round number of 1200. After driving to new lows here and having this good rally up, it really behaved uh, pretty uh, weakly here. Just recently got some better bull energy coming into the mix here over 1200 over the key spike of 1204 and setting up this move into this less traded zone here. We're just hitting this first target zone here at 1232, so essentially up to that zone right now and taking a pause. And here's a spot now where the bulls really have this in a good spot if they can not retrace very far, stay on top of this trading commitment. We should see a push up a little bit higher and then note, the 618 retrace of this sell impulse comes in just a bit higher than where we are. It also happens to come in at 1243. A lot of trading activities happened at this area. And that's at about the top end of this trading commitment here. So on this continued bull rally here, as we start to move up a little bit higher than where we are now, maybe as much as 10 plus dollars, this could put in the final resistance swing we see here before it pulls back again and makes a new push up, assuming it is going to rally more. If it's going to pull back, a couple things to watch. 1220, we had resistance swings there and breaking down below that would be a bit of a sign of weakness. Certainly, if we get below 1204 again, that is extremely weak. Watch for any pullbacks here to remain higher than the prior swing lows that have printed here. So basically staying above 1220 and below that over 1210s. As far as a retrace goes to this bear impulse, we've already passed the 50 and we're getting close to the 618. This is the sweet spot for retracements to hold if the bear impulse is going to resume. So this happens to be a spot that would trigger some psychological and emotional 
under the radar uh, reactions from traders where if there's more traders that want to be selling up in the zone here whether they're shorting or booking profits this is where we're very likely to see it happen however if we get over that level here there's a bit of an air pocket that starts to move up to this 1260 level and then that puts us towards the one-to-one -one harmonic up here in the low 1250s with the bottom of this uh, balance beam here at about 1258s. So the very low 1250s plus could see the end of this impulse if the bears are going to stay in charge of the price action. However, we get up a little bit higher from that and we hit the 786. So whenever you have an impulse that retraces, sorry to do a little training here, but I can't resist it. The sell impulse here, looking at this as a unit of one, just for those of you that are out there in radio land that care about this stuff, when you get past this level here on a retrace, often not only is it diluting some of the power of the initial sell impulse, but it really puts the probability of price uh, moving back to where it came from um, in a higher state. So if the bulls start getting it over the 786 here, there's a very good chance they're going to retrace all the way up to the top here. That's something to watch. This is the NASDAQ futures here, and the bottom line with this chart is there's a lot of trading commitment in the middle of the chart and we've just broken this downtrend at this balance beam. This is very similar to what the US dollar index is about to do. It broke below a heavily traded zone, it's moving up, it could break the downtrend and take over the heavily traded zone. The Nasdaq's done the same deal. It broke to new highs, pulled back, put in a support swing and now is rallying back up. That's a perfect price action for the bulls here and we'll look for a push up a little bit higher to go up and tag uh, the top line here. Over this level, we're very likely going to retest the highs, and there's a nice one-to-one -one harmonic at the 1.272 here at 4630s we'll look to as the next key price point for, for the NASDAQ. But that's some real good bull energy there, and what would undo that is price trading below this level here. So we would have to drop about another 65 plus points for that to happen. Look for that extension to new highs and that's going to be a bell ringer up there at 4630s. We'll be on top of that in the live room. Use the link at the bottom of the video. You can hop in there and watch me day trade some markets as well as do some big picture work like this. That'll do it for now. We'll see you back in the live room.